All right, so check this out, Facebook. We are not doing any more lives on Facebook. So I want you to subscribe to um, Subi Live on YouTube and, and my Instagram page, Mr. Vegas Music. Right now we are on Instagram, so if you want to join the reasoning, go over to Instagram, right? So we're over on Instagram, Zane, because Facebook, Facebook has me, has me about to cancel my page, all right? So go over on Instagram. You catch that? When I reach, make sure you go over to Instagram. I'm giving you 10 seconds before I end this over here. <coughs> hey, but head over to Instagram. Go over to Instagram. Instagram, Instagram. See them turn off the sound. Can I hear me now? Wait for them to Instagram. Wait for them. Pull up. Both of them. That one is going on real nice. Real nice. I hold them. I hold them. I hold them, but you know I still have to check in with the eye them. I hold them. I hold them. But I still have to check in with the eye them. I hold them. I hold them. I kill them with music. You see? The reason I have to do it them hours a night is because you are going to have some serious reason in this, see? Some serious reason in this. Zin? I'll play it again at the end of the thing, um, family. Alright. First thing. First thing we have to understand. You see, you see where. What our people them interested in? Huh? You see, what our people them really, really, um, what our people them really concerned about. Now watch this now. Remember saying, you know? remember saying, you know? see? Sorry about that. Try to get rid of the noise. Um, so watch this now. You see now Jamaica? We have a major issue in Jamaica. You see? We have a major issue in Jamaica. We have children are dying in the hospital.
How much people here talk about that? We have a major issue in Jamaica. Yeah? Where them claim say. Them claim say. Okay, so the sound gone. So they distract me. Them claim say. There is a virus in the hospital. And um, according to reports, the Minister of Health, Mr. Tufton, did not want to um, address it publicly because he was afraid of um, people getting panicked and, um, and creating and create a whole mass hysteria or whatever I may think. So, so far, according to this report, and this report was October, when was this? When was this? Let me get the latest report. You see? And it's not the first time this happening. You know? This is not the first time. But it's another cover up again. So according to this this this, this information it says um it appears that Andrew Wellness led government may be facing its own deed, its own dead baby scandal after Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton admitted Wednesday that a number of babies had died at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital following an outbreak of resistant bacteria during the summer. According to Nationwide News, Tufton's Health, Tufton's Health and Wellness Minister, uh, Ministry had to turn to the Pan American Health Organization for help. However, while that was happening and babies were reportedly dying, the public was kept in the dark. Let me read that again. You see, now this, uh, this, this, is, this is something that this came out October 26, right? But it, how much people here talk about this? I read it again. It appears that Andrew Wellness led government may be facing its own dead baby scandal after Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton admitted Wednesday that a number of babies had died at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital following an outbreak of resistant bacteria during, during the summer. According to Nationwide News, Tufton's Health and Wellness Ministry had to turn to the Pan American Health Organization for help. However, while that was happening and babies were reportedly dying, the public was kept in the dark. Tufton told the radio station on Wednesday evening that a shortage of nurses could have led to the outbreak while disputing the number of babies that died. The insinuation that somehow dozens of babies have died is not the information that I have, but every death is, regret is regrettable. And so it is not an excuse. We have the problem and we have some challenges in dealing with it. But we are dealing with it, Tufton said. He also disclosed that the ratio of nurses to babies in the, in the non-natal intensive care unit should be one nurse to two babies. The critical nursing shortage faced in Jamaica has upended these numbers. So there's a, an outbreak in the hospitals that are killing the babies. And reports are saying dozens of babies died. However, Mr. Tufton is saying that is not the case. Okay? Mr. Tufton is saying that is not the case. But people are saying that's the case. Alright? Now, why am I even speaking about this? We don't see anybody, anybody running with this. We don't see anybody talking about this. We don't see anybody praying about this. We don't see any of the religious people them put on them live going a fasting and prayer for these babies. We don't see the religious fanatics them that claim say God talking to them or they heard from God. We don't hear any of them talking about these babies. 
We don't see nobody come out with no Bible upon them head. And I pray for these babies. You see? But look what is making the rounds. Spice go do her body according to them. And she's in a coma. Let us all pray for Spice. Make we create a national prayer for Spice. A worldwide prayer. Now a life is a life, you know. So if something happens to Sister Spice, of course you want to pray for her. But how we find it so, so much more important to pray for her than to keep fasting and prayer or come on our Facebook and put on our live camera and pray for the babies them that are dying in the hospitals in Jamaica because there is an outbreak. This is something where in the news, this is something where the health minister actually acknowledged. So this is not like somebody tell somebody, say somebody go do them body and them in a coma, you know. Somebody tell somebody, say if tell somebody, say if tell somebody, say somebody in a coma after them go do them body. That is something we are not sure about, you know. So if you're going to pray, or if you want something to pray aloud about, why wouldn't we put on our cameras and why wouldn't we Christian people? Are you Christian people? Why wouldn't you put on your camera and call on all the Christians them in Jamaica and around the world to pray for these babies? Why is it more important to pray for a sister that we are not even sure if the sister even sick. This is what I've been talking about. You see, I talk about them things and people say. Me this and me that and me rare and me rare. It's all good. Because I know see at the end of the day, you know. The truth must prevail, you know. I know see at the end of the day, you, know, you see truth. The truth must prevail, you know. Nobody can go around the truth, you know. No matter how you think you're bad and bold and, and whatever, you can't grow the truth, you know. No matter how it now makes sense to you, you know, it soon makes sense, you know. It soon makes sense. No. What we have to understand? We're living in an, in an era where people will do drastic things. To go viral. It's a new thing. We're living in an era where a man we even say a him commit a crime to go viral. We're living in an era where a man we kill a man to go viral. We're living in an era where a person we link up the media and say, yo, this and this are happen, figure viral. So when you see something on the internet nowadays, you know the first thing you have to do? You have to fact check it. You have to validate it. You have to validate the things that you see have come out nowadays. You can't just See a little story pop up and you act on it. You're too impulsive. When a little story come up, you have to sit back and check where you go on. Because remember, say, you know, people nowadays, you know, people, it's all about clout, you know, and some people work it. Because if you can't find idiots to run with you when you are clout chase, not saying that is the case in every situation. But if me can find people to run with me when me I do some things, why me I go stop people? I mean, I just continue to do it and that I put on my, 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 my pot on the fire. That is what I'm making money off. So if I can pull any little stunt and people fall for it, then I'm going to milk it. It's called, you know, marketing, I guess. 
If me can market myself in the sense of promotion, you know, for my music, if I can market my brand, see? So when I do something, no matter what, people just run with it and people just fall for it. Then why should I stop? I continue to do it. The problem is one day, something may really happen. But true me no says a marketing era we into. True me no says a viral era we into. True me no say is a cloud era we into. When me see things, you know, me just sit back and just say, me don't even know if you believe nowadays, yeah, man, because everybody I look a, 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 a viral. Everybody looking a viral. The other day, me see a video where a, a teacher, you know, a, a lady, you know, a lady, you know, she took up her, she, she dip on the video, you know, and she has said, me tip me pitney, me pitney couldn't tie her shoes lace, me pitney couldn't tie her shoes lace, and the teacher, the teacher sent by me pitney going to the class, and she no get no lunch, and, and me I say, what? Instantly me remember when me used to get beaten for tying my shoes lace, you know, so, right now that story they connected with me, you know, me see this woman, you know, a ball. I said the teacher sent back her child into, into class because she, her shoes lace, her shoes lace were, were untied. And me, I said, what a wicked teacher, that teacher. I saw so me, I said to myself, you know, by the next morning, me wake up, me see the same lady. You know what? I want to apologize because, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I overreacted yesterday and, and, um, and I'm saying no, John was star. The first thing was to do, you know, is to just go down at the school and talk to the teachers first, you know, before you grab your phone, you know. You see, we in an era where, you see, the first thing we grab, you know, the phone is like a gun, you know. The first thing you grab, you know, boom, you know, bam. You see, and something happened, bam. Zin, it's like, it's like, it's like the phone, the new machine, the gun, you know, your gun, you know. So, what about that? Bam. So, this lady come on the internet and she burn out the teacher and she said, me go, you go jail, me go go, jail, me go go. The next day she was on the internet apologizing to the teachers. Now, her child in that school now, you know, I go come on some for my scrutiny, you know, because, you know, so no teacher, no, go, no matter if that little, that little, her child, you know, you know, May get marginalized, you know, or may, you know, maybe them exclude her from certain social activities and those things because them see a sign, them see a, 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 a them see enough from the parent or the mother where they must say, you see that little, you see that little girl, let's stay far from her, you know, because, yo, the other day her mother, did I go come there, I come fight, you know. So you're hurting even your own child. So I say, I to say this. Minister Hall. Me not think you're a bad person. Me think say so you have bad ways. But me not think you're a bad person. Your problem is in a minister Hall. Is your very impulsive and it's not you alone. Maybe we all have a little problem there, but me think say so you have it more than some of we. You have it more than some of But here why your issue now of being impulsive is more detrimental to even you. It's because you're so influential even though you leave dance hall according to you. You still have that something there. You still have that. that you, still, you still have that. Let me call it power then. You still have that power. Are that influence on people. So you see, because of that, you have to be more responsible. There's something here with spies in the media from the other day, you know. 
I know when it go viral, when you pray about it. At that time it go viral, you know. And why it go viral? When you pray about it. Because you never did follow your Bible. Because you're so impulsive, you never just say, Let me pray about it. In a little room where I reserve for Jesus. Remember, you reserve a room for Jesus. You see when things happen, sister? Find one little corner. And pray about it. You see, if you do that, whatever good I go come of the prayer, I go come in. And if God not go answer, he just not go answer. But the problem we have is, yes, when we are do things for people, we want the world for them. What if we have that problem there? So if we are give somebody something, we want the world for them. If we are pray for somebody, we want the whole world for them. And so if you go, you know, yes, if you are pray for me, Find one little corner. Worse, worse, me is a man where he's not a believer. Me is not a man where, me is a man where dash with the gospel. Dash with the religion. So if you think say me need little help, or you think say me I go mad, or you think say me, me lose it, and you want to pray for me, no company internet come say me praying for you. Don't company internet come keep no, 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 no big, you know, world prayer. No company internet can come put no Bible upon no head and get none of spirit and speak none of tongues. Find one little corner and pray for me. Because yes, when you do that, you say if God I go do things, if God I go do something to fix me or not fix me, it I go be between you and God. Nobody now go know say you did even pray for me. Because you now look nothing from praying for me. You now look no you know, look no, we you call it now? No promotion for praying for me. You just see some, you just think, say, or you just dream, say, or you just, you know, some, your instinct or whatever tell you, say, something wrong about him, you know. Go pray in one corner. You see? That means if nothing never wrong with me, you know, go look stupid. No. What is sad is this word from God now where if it says something wrong with somebody, somebody, somebody sick, somebody in a coma, somebody near if it dead. Call up all of the troop them. Call up all of the troop them. Come, make a prayer, make a prayer. Call up all of the troop. Yo, no come. Uno come, sound the alarm. Foo, 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 foo. Foo, 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 foo. Foo. Come, 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 spice in a coma. Come. Foo, 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 foo. Foo, foo, foo. Come, come, prayer warriors. Foo, 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 foo. Come, come, hush, shalom, shalom, shalom. Coo, 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 coo. And boom, and the whole of the prayer warriors, him come and him say, what? Now you say, yo, spice in a coma. Short for dead. Me they tell her a long time. You know long me I tell them stop do up them body. Me tell them long time they stop do up body. Foo, 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 foo. God did say me if you come one them and them never listen. Foo, 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 foo. Yo, yo, warriors, you know come. You know come. Pray of his spice. Pray of his spice. You have somebody. Me know say me and her have a problem them. Foo, 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 foo. Foo, 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 foo. But you know what? The spirit of the Lord tell me if you come, come pray. Foo, 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 foo. How much I want to reach? Pray a warrior. Where want to do? Where want to do? Where want to do? Me know say one time she did want me be our, our, our pit the grand God, God, God mother but me never want foo ku foo ku foo foo ku foo foo hey uno come come you see and now the whole of the prayer warrior them reach when the whole of the prayer warrior them reach now and they say what go on here tell them and they say alright make could pray make could pray make could pray Lord God how will you hear how will you hear say how will you hear say no so, somebody just me just a pray and fast and somebody put it in the comment. Alright.
Alright, make a prayer still. Make a prayer. Look at prayer. Look at prayer. Come prayer warrior. So, boom now. Prayer start and all of the prayer warrior them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Bless our Lord. Bless our Lord. Bless our, bless our Jesus. Bless our God. Oh my God. Heal our, heal our, heal our. Remember, say, we know, we've you, we know. Has somebody in the comments say, you know. One somebody in the comments say so. No, all of the prayer warrior them run out of their house, run left them pot bun up on the fire, run left them picnic homework, run left this, run left that, run left them. Some people are fast and give up the fasting and the, and, and all can I sit now, kick over the bucket and can I sit now close, I can I sit now come near, come, come pray now. After them don't pray and God said so, boom now. See God up ahead here now. What a God, I want to go on. So much I want to pray one time, you know, that God. I will happen now, what I want to pray for the pit, them don't have Jamaica, we are dead. No, 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 God, we don't want to pray for them now. We want to pray for whose favorite sister, can we say she take, she do her body and she in a coma, God. All right. How much, how much I want to? How much I want to? All right, send no come, send no come, so God comes, so boom, no one. Ready now, and God, I open the prayer and, and, and envelope them. So God sets a boom, prayer envelope. Boom. I will say, boom, okay, boom, all right, cool. You go over this, so I don't like how you pray too long. Boom, oh, me like how you pray. You know, say, me, let me put that one over that side a little bit. You come. Boom, where you pray, say? Boom, you're speaking at too much tongues when you are praying. I can't bad idea. You make too much noise off in my head. Boom, give me the envelope over there, so Jesus. Pass the envelope there. Yeah, pass that one there. I like that one there. Give me the envelope there. Boom, Jesus, give me the envelope on top of the no man. So, Gabriel, pass that one there too. Boom, boom. So when God got through both, 80 of the envelope them now. When God ready now, he go say, all right, Jesus, come like a serious thing going on. Oh, we never see this Jesus, Lord God. You never see her when she go do her body if he stop her. Lord Jesus, so you all is asleep. Boom. When you tap laughing, man, tap your laughing, because I real something this. You see? Tap your laughing. No, I saw my own have to go work tomorrow, so no go on. So, <laughs> so, boom, God reached about 100, 100 envelopes and said, Jesus, Jesus, Gabriel, a real thing, you know. Remember, I said, the sister in the church the other day, you know, I tell her, she's ready for coming, you know. Why you never grab her Jesus? You never say she's ready for come. But Jesus, come on, man. You know, you know, work, man, Jesus. Come on, I'm never going to send you back to daddy, you know. Cho. No, daddy, no send me back. Them wicked down the daddy, no send me back. No, daddy, especially them Jamaican, they never kill me. Yeah. Can you eat and drink with you and kill you? Yeah. No send me back, daddy. Mm. Send me to Japan, they're more peaceful. The Japanese, they may learn about me. Send me to Japan. All right. Cho, Jesus, man. Tap it nice. Boom now. Make we, make we help her. Mm -hmm.